Today we'd like to showcase version 3 of our new online booking system. It's now available to use and by the end of March 2020 we will automatically switch over all accounts to use the new system. We will provide details on how to switch over to the new system below in the help article attached. The new system has a simplified navigation layout and a new user interface. We have taken a lot of the learnings from the past number of years and we've also taken on as much of your feedback as possible. We really focus on making the new system as user friendly as possible. So without further ado, I'd like to run through some of the new features, the layout, and some of the simplifications that we've made to the system. So once a customer registers um, through your website, this is their new main dashboard. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, they're gonna see their own contact information and they can also upload a picture of themselves if they wish to. This image will later be added into the internal system um, so you can also see the customer's image if they wish to provide one. On the right hand side of the screen the customer is going to see any upcoming bookings and they're also going to see a list of any bookings which have an outstanding balance attached to them. A little further down the screen you're going to have some of the basic details on your kennel um, which you can edit from the settings in Kennel Booker and the customer will also see that the services you offer and in the tab opening hours they can see the opening hours for your facility for your various different services. To run through the menu system on the right hand side of the screen they can click into their dashboard, they can view um, all their future upcoming bookings and also their past bookings. They can add a booking into the system, they can view their own details, view their pets details, veterinary details. If, they, if you integrate the online um, payments system into Kennel Booker, they can also add and view debit and credit cards that are attached to their account. They can also upload documents in one single screen and then they can view any Q&A questions that you've added to the system. So I'm going to run through a few of these pages in more detail. So to view the customer's details, they will simply click on your details. They can then choose to upload a pro profile picture if they wish. Once they do that, it'll appear on the screen and then it'll also appear on the side menu. So it'll also update here. The customer's contact details will be here, so the, as you can see, the customer can really only see their own personal information. They don't see any of the um, additional notes or extras that you've added to their account. A little further down the screen, they can add, edit their emergency contact information. They can set up their communications preferences. If you use daycare credits or training credits or any other type of credits in the system, they can see that information from this panel. And then as well, if they have any um, recurring subscriptions with your facility, they will see these here as well. So if you don't use subscriptions in the system, some facilities charge customers an annual or monthly fee. And if you use our integrated payment system, the system will automatically charge the customer's credit or debit account on a specified day every month or year. If the customer wants to make any updates to their information, they can do so. And then they can update their information using the button bottom of the screen. The customer's pets are now separated out into their own screen which is a little bit more usable. Um, they're going to see a list of the pets that they have. They can click into each pet. They can also upload a image themselves. So we are going to upload a picture for Benji and once they do that that picture is going to appear here. All of the same information is new in the new system so you've got their type of pet they are, colour, sex, date of birth, if they've been spayed or neutered, um, etc. and microchip and veterinary details and whatnot. Um, the feeding and medical information is also on the screen and towards the bottom of the screen is the current vaccination dates for this pet. If you decide to turn on the ability for customers to edit their own vaccination information, all they need to simply do is click on the update details button and then at the page will refresh and they will be able to change the dates and save them. Once they save them, we're gonna flag those vaccinations in the system as customer enters and then staff on the internal system. When they check in a booking, they will be notified that the customer has modified the dates of these vaccinations and that they need to be checked. Once the staff member verifies these dates, 
then they will be saved in the system and the staff and customer won't have to enter these again until they need to be renewed. To go back out to the pets, once you have a pet's picture um, uploaded in the system, you're going to see it here. So we're just going to do the same thing for Sophie. So this is our new um, Cavapoo dog. So she's currently eight months old. Um, so here you've got some more information. You've got the same information as before. On the veterinary screen, if you click in here, you're going to see the veterinary information here. If the customer wants to change that, they can click change vet. They're going to see a pre-populated list of vets that are already in the system. They can decide if they are going to change it. And once they change it, that information is saved in the system. If they have credit or debit cards, they can click on the following button and they're going to see that information here. They can add a new card by clicking on the add new card button. A little further down the screen, documents is now in its own separate page. Previously, you could upload documents against a customer and a pet's profile. To simplify this, we've now pulled this out into one screen. So when you go to upload a booking waiver, we're going to upload it against the customer. We select the document and the information will be saved. So you can see here it's a booking waiver. It's saved against my profile and it was uploaded by the customer. If you want to, if your customer wishes to upload a vaccination cert, they can choose one for Sophie. They can choose, choose upload document, and then we're going to choose the vaccination cert for Sophie. So you can hear that now it's been assigned to the correct pet. So it gets rid of the uh, the three or four clicks that clicks that used to be needed to go into the customer's profile, find the pet, go into the pet, find the documents, etc. So it's now been really simplified out. Um, a little further than the screen, you've got your Q&A. So your Q&A here, again, is being separated out into the questions that are related to the customer and then the questions that are related to each pet. We've also color coded these boxes just so it's a little bit more obvious that the questions are different. And we've also added in the profile pictures and the pets pictures uh, into these boxes as well. So again, customer can update this information and save it. So now here is the new ad booking wizard. We've tried not to change things too much. However, now on the first step of the ad booking screen, you are going to select the pets for the booking. So this is going to give us a little bit more control over the various checks that we can do when adding in a booking. And I'm going to talk through those now. So if you are a daycare facility, a lot of daycare facilities will not take um, male pets that are over six months that have not been neutered. So if you choose to select daycare and then you choose a duration and then you choose a pet, when you click on the make booking button, the system will check to make sure that that pet is first if it's male if it's over six months and it hasn't been neutered, it's going to throw up a warning message here. We also have the ability here as well. If you use the uh, feature in the system to only accept pets that have passed an evaluation. So if you turn this feature on, every pet that you take in needs to have a face to face. And then you have to decide if you're going to accept that pet. So if pets have not been um, passed your evaluation or failed an evaluation, the customer will not be able to try and add a booking for that pet. So to look at the boarding process, um, we are just going to choose boarding and we have our dates here and we are going to make a booking for Sophie. So also on the screen, you've got this check availability button. So if the customer checks, they're going to see an information message that we have availability on these days and then they can just go back. So over on the left or the right hand side of the screen, the customer is going to see some information on the service that they're currently booking. So you can update this information in your settings panel in Kennel Booker. To make a booking, we're going to click here. On the next screen, we have integrated the waivers into the booking process. Um, so now the customer is going to see that waiver information. So you can set up a catch-all waiver which the customer has to sign when they create an account or you can have waivers specific to each booking type. If you have a waiver specific to a booking type when the customer chooses that booking type they're going to have to sign it. So they can view the information here and then they can jump down and then they can sign the waiver. 
they click agree and continue so on the next page now we're going to see the vaccination requirements for this pet so we're adding one in for Sophie so we're going to see that all the vaccinations are fine so we don't need to modify these we are going to click next step again if you don't wish the customer to be able to modify their vaccination dates this step will not appear in the booking wizard so you simply click next step then the customer has the ability to add additional services to their booking if they wish so they can choose uh, one of these here we're going to add a individual playtime to the booking and then we're going to click next and then here we're going to see the q a so we've got a question for the booking we've got a question for the pet or the pet owner and then we have questions for the pet um again you can add these in in your settings panel and you can mark these as required so the customer has to fill them in if a customer fills these in the next time they enter a booking this information will be pre-populated so we're now going to click on next step and then we're going to get the booking details and um, the final screen so here the kennel has decided that they want customers to um, specify a type of room um, you can also associate rates with the pet again these two things are optional then we're going to choose a drop-off time and we're going to choose a pickup time and that is it so you've got the ability here to show other terms and conditions if you wish and we are going to agree to those and we're going to submit the booking so now that we've submitted the booking we get our booking confirmation screen and the customer can go in and view that booking so once they go in and view the booking they're going to see the check-in and check-out dates and the drop-off times as well on the right hand side of the screen as before they're going to see the pricing when this booking gets confirmed on the internal system the pricing here will obviously update and the customer is going to see it um, optionally here again this is another thing that you can turn on in kennel bookers so you can add tips into the system and then down in this panel here you're going to see the vaccination and the pet information if the customer wishes to if they click on the invoice screen this will open a pdf invoice for this booking in a new window that they can then print off so once you confirm this booking they're going to get this email to them anyway so we've changed the format of this slightly and um, just updated the styling of it so jumping back into the screen now so we've got this new booking added into the system um, so by now we've gone through most of the new screens and the new layout and um, down towards the bottom of the screen we've got the footer so in the footer we're going to display the logo for your facility now we're going to show it in the footer of the screen because a lot of the logos that we have or that customers have uploaded tend not to be horizontal in um, uh, in design they tend to be sort of more um, vertical which tend not to fit too well into smaller spaces so we're going to just display the name of the facility up here for the meantime and the logo down in the footer over here you've got your terms and conditions and your privacy policy you can update that information in your settings and then when you click on these it'll jump into a page with that information and then finally on the right hand side of the screen you're going to see the contact information for your facility um, so in a nutshell that's the new system it's available in a number of different languages if the customer um, is located in France for instance um, and they have their language preference in their browser set to French the system will appear in French and likewise for Spanish German Italian Norwegian Swedish and Portuguese I think is also in there um, if you have any comments uh, or feedback please send them on and hopefully this is the start of the new look and feel of the system uh, we've spent quite a lot long time now building this since the start of the year and we hope you and your customers like it